Oh, hey. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna be doing a sports graphic design edit today. I know I haven't really touched on a lot of graphic design on my channel yet, um, but it is something I do for a living, it's something I do for a passion, and it's something that I'm pretty comfortable with. At the start of 2020, uh, when I wanted to dive back into doing more creative stuff, the first thing I did was sports edits, and I actually focused my Instagram on that before I swapped back to doing photography on there. But it's something I enjoy doing and I haven't touched in a while, so I figured I'd take inspiration from some previous edits that I've already done and kind of do something very similar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I go about getting all my resources through Google and editing it all together. So before I would take Google image search and I would type in what I was looking for, go to tools and select the size, but they've changed up a little bit. So I wanted to have access to higher quality stuff and without having the direct source, it's kind of difficult. So what I do is I use Google advanced image search. So you go there and I don't use a lot of these things. You can get very minute with what you choose on here. But what I choose to do is just the, what I'm searching for and the image size. So in this case, I'm going to do, uh, let's say Alvin Kamara Saints, just in case, so it doesn't get his uh, college years. I'm gonna take image size, and you have a lot of options, but what I'm gonna do to be smart is I'm gonna start with four megapixels. Now, I'm doing this just for an Instagram size. This is not a print size. You will have to mess around with things differently. And also, you wanna consider not doing print size unless you're commissioned to because I'm not selling this, so I'm using images that aren't mine. Uh, if you do wanna sell that, you will have to find a way to get that kind of licensing. This is just for fun. And I wanna state that in the comments section, but I'm also gonna state that in this video that this is purely for fun, for education, and how I do things. So now that I've got that, just hit enter, and it takes me straight to it. Now, here's the fun part. It's finding the image I wanna edit. Um, and really, like, just like any of them I've done, it's always kind of off the cuff for me. Um, so, I like this one. I'm just going to pick a couple and see what I come up with. I'm really liking this white jersey. I know that the Saints typically have wear black, but I'm going to do a white jersey edit now that I'm looking at it. So what I'm going to do is take this one, save image, just put it on desktop for now. Naming convention, I, in this case, I would say is not as important because I'm not working with a ton of images here, but I will advise you that if you are, I would highly, highly recommend you work with uh, good naming conventions and file management. Let me go back to advanced image search because it allows me to just continue to kind of look at the same thing. So I'm gonna keep this simple. I'm gonna say um, concrete wall. I'm gonna go for something kind of grungy and abstract rather than, um, you know, like something on the field. That's a good one. Like I said, I love to pick a couple options. Sometimes you'll hit one and it's like a preview, so you don't wanna you don't wanna use that. But I like this first one. So now we're gonna hop into Photoshop, and the first thing I do is I always set my size. In this case, since I know I'm doing it for kind of an Instagram size, I'm gonna do it by 1200 by 1200 square with a 300 DPI. Then what, I've already saved it the way I want it, so what I'm gonna do, I like to work off a of black background because I love a lot of contrast and it's just my preference. Always do guides for me. I always do my center point, even if that's not where everything lands, that gives me an idea of where to go. So now, it's as simple as dropping stuff in, but before we get to that, we have to cut out our player. So here's where it gets tricky because I could sit here and pen tool it, but I know a lot of people who crank these out really quickly. So I'm going to show you what I do instead. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. You really have to be patient with it. I'm going to do select subject. Now let it think. And it did a pretty good job because of the depth of field of the image. Um, he is pretty separated from the background, even with the colors kind of meshing. I see some spots, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and spot check those. Normally I do with a mouse, but again, I'm trying to keep it simple. 
So pen tool is your friend. You can use a lasso tool. I just prefer it. And honestly, with these edits, I don't go super, super crazy on like how clean it is, unless I'm like trying to capture like hair. So I'm gonna do this part. And I'm just gonna speed through and kind of get some of his stuff. And there we go. Uh, I did a pretty good edit there. So I'm gonna hide the background and with this layer selected, I'm going to create a mask and boom, we have no background. So before I add in the other one, this is my main subject, so I'm going to focus on adding him. So we can just go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to drop him in first because he's the subject and that's what I wanna focus on. I always keep things as a smart object because that way I can go back and edit it later. And that's another reason why I did it as a PSD. So let's say maybe 50%. I want him to be kind of a bigger subject, so let's do 75. No, that's too big. Cool, you know, just play it by ear. Play, you know, mess around some, see, see what you like. I like that angle. Maybe just a hair smaller. I'm already thinking of using a different subject. Now that I have this in place, I love how this looks. So you know what? I know I said I was gonna do a black background, but honestly, now that I'm looking at the white jersey, I'm. this is the thing is like, you kind of get inspired as you're going, even if you know what you're doing, but that's why I wanted to do this off the cuff. So now, same, so now I wanna add my texture in. So let us add the concrete, scale it, the reason why I'm not, so normally this would be a great chance for me to tell you what key commands I'm using, but because I've been doing this for so long and I, I have workflow that I like, um, you know, I like to create key commands that don't make sense to anyone else but me. Stuff that scale, so I use scale a lot at work you know, when I'm doing this. So it's helpful to have that option. So then I'll drop that. You'll notice I also made sure that I renamed it to concrete instead of whatever the blurb from the SEO text from the Google search came from. Now what I'm gonna do is, I mean, I don't like those colors. I'm gonna keep it black and white, add a gradient map on top, shift it to color. And it's a little too much concrete. So let's play with the opacity. Let's pull it all the way down and just kind of creep it back in. Cause I want it to be more subtle. 25. I like getting it to certain numbers. Yeah, that's good. I am already envisioning, like I, I went into this kind of having an idea, but I'm, I'm more so showing you the style of what it did. So I like this. The cut is really cool. Um, so I think what I might do before I start like blending, I think I'm gonna start blending him in and stuff. So let's t create a layer mask on him. Grab a soft brush, make it really big. And start wiping away his legs. Maybe not that much. So he kind of fades a little bit. Man, I'm just enjoying this. Like I'm just I, I'm managing it. So quick recap on, or a rather a quick divergence on. Um, an edit, so what I wanna do to keep my file manageable, I don't need this back, well, I do need this background image, what am I talking about? Copy the old one and group all these in a folder together and call it background. You'll notice I get really, really retentive about my naming conventions and just keeping it making sense. So I think you'll enjoy that once you've taken time. So now I wanna focus on working on him. Um, Let's put him in a folder together because I'm gonna do a bunch of edits to just his image. And do that. Let's take this layer mask off real quick. So now we're gonna edit him. And we can do stuff within this folder and it doesn't affect anywhere else outside. So this is a really like light color edit. So I kind of want to take a brush, put it at 40% and then just start fading him a little bit. Kind of not make him quite so contrasty, 
you know, hard edges, but without actually fading them. Let's create this like light effect over him. Kind of angelic in a way. Already starting to separate from the background a little bit. I can probably eliminate some of the stuff on this side. Cause I, you gotta think about your light source. So I'm gonna have his light source coming from the right to the left. I really dig that. So, again, AK, so I know where it is. White accent. You don't have to do everything all caps. I'm just lazy, I'm doing that right now. Um, go back into the background and we're gonna add a little bit of shadow of him. Again, we're not going for super realism and I'm not particularly going for a specific look here off the top of my head. I'm just improvising and I want you guys to kind of vibe with me. So AKA shadow. So now that I've added him there, now I'm going to do inside shadow. Set it to multiply. I should have done that with the white accent, but I actually want it to be like an actually a pure white effect. Make him darker on this side because that's where the shadow is. Go back over here, the same thing. Make it make sense. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think this is a good base so far, but now I want to fill some of the space. So now we need to make it pop a little bit more up here, a little here. It's so far so good on a good edit but I'm not entirely convinced. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna do a K. So I'm just gonna work with fonts I have, but you can always go on defont.com to find some free fonts. You can also purchase fonts um, if you're looking for something specific. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a K and I'm gonna do it in this gold color to start. Make it automatically all caps. And I always do like a ridiculous size first, just to kind of see what it looks like. Take my type tool. This is not a bad one to start. Never go wrong with impact, let's see. Sans serif, I know it's gonna be a sans serif for sure. A lot of options. I'm gonna do something tall. That's what I definitely want to do. Or at least not like super wide. Something condensed. Sometimes the sorting can be a little issue and I, I have a lot of fonts. <laughs> I collect a lot of fonts for many reasons. So let us find something kind of tech. Ooh, that's a good one. Don't necessarily like the grunge. Hmm. Can also play around with placement some. Again, like you'll you'll put something somewhere to start, and then you'll start moving it away. So I'm either thinking something up here or down here, because I kind of want to do the stripes like on what's on his shoulder somewhere. I'm actually thinking about doing it here. So I'm thinking to start, put this here. And bonus points, I would say go and find hex codes. If you're working on like a sports edit, go and find the hex codes of that team. But if you're heavily editing the image, I'd rather you go with what's there. So I'm gonna take this, make a duplicate underneath it. I'm gonna go with not quite black, maybe like a darker gray somewhere here. Just kind of bring it in frame. Oh yeah, that pops, I love that. Okay, text. So let's look real quick. Cause this is something I like to use a lot. Let's say, so this is the color rush. So let's say you could do the helmet one, but I want to include the gold. So let's say Saints color rush jersey. If I'm not mistaken, yep, it's black and gold stripes only. Ooh, yeah, I like how it is on the pants, but I also like it there. So to be safe, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a stripe with uh, box tool. So we'll start with black. Actually, no. We're going to start with this dark gray. 
because I don't want it to necessarily be pure black. Do one stripe here. Doesn't matter that it goes over. Duplicate it. It's them next to each other. Ooh, actually also eliminate the stroke. I don't need the stroke. If you have snap to guys, this will work, but sometimes my snap can be a little weird, so I'm just gonna rely on eyeball. I wouldn't always recommend it. Oh yeah. And then at least do three stripes. I think we might, It's I'm either gonna do two, three, or four. I'm thinking it's gonna be the three, but I like to group these together. So I'm gonna group them together, call it stripe, and this is going to be behind everyone, so put it back in the background. Put it behind this AK. Ooh, yeah, that's already a good edit. That's already a good tweak. I call it a wizard tweak. That also helps fill up that space a little bit. I also have another way I could do it, but what I'm going to do is, for the sake of this, I'm going to duplicate the concrete, put it over this, set it to maybe multiply or color burn. Let's do color burn and up it a little bit. Ooh, that's fresh. I like that. See, and now I want to kind of eliminate this white pop a little bit. So we'll keep that. Sometimes I'll do multiple versions of that. So let's do white pop two, because now I might introduce gold so this white pop, I'm going to do here and maybe down here and then do gold pop. Notice I have the text on top of everything because I'm not, I don't want to necessarily mess this. Maybe do screen so it's not so dark. Ooh, girl, do it really big. Ah, yes, it's all coming together now. So let's um, let's create a little bit of shadow here underneath the stripes, or on top of the stripes, sorry. So I'm gonna actually move big AK under here, because this way the, the, oh well. Yeah, so this way the stripes are there. So now we're gonna do this, bring it down. If you want to change brush sizes, I highly recommend using your bracket. It is a lifesaver. Oh yeah. I like that. Boom. Already pretty dope. Now we're going to do something a little bit unorthodox. I did this before with a hockey edit previously. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take AK here merge him. I know, I know. And I'm going to take my selection tool, or actually it's not here, here we go. I'm going to do a single column. A lot of the accent's more on the shoulder. So I'm going to take that back, find my selection, and I really like it here. This is just improvising. Now I've got a pixel that's this long. So now we're going to scale it. Let's call this pixel because it is literally a pixel wide. Oops, nope. We want to do just this way. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. This may look like garbage, but we'll see. So I'm going to make this really long. So I can just kind of mess with it how I want. So create a smart object so you can always rescale it later. Oh, maybe flip it on its side. Oh, could have just done 90 degrees. <laughs> Let's take that to the background. Let's put it over the stripe. See. See if we like this better than the solid. Make the same width too. 
That's pretty cool. It's very unique. I actually kind of like how sharp it is. Um, might even eliminate some of it. Let's take it 100%. It's all about messing around. Finding what you like. Delete my air mask. Might even just do... It's sideways. Ooh, actually. Nah. Not as big of a fan. Maybe put it under it, AKA, see how it looks. Oh, that's not bad. I think maybe get rid of it here and there. What I can do is always put it in another group folder and edit out specifically, like I don't want him to show up in it. Yeah. So now we can bring this back and start fading a little. Put the concrete back on top of this too uh, with the black and white. Oh yeah, that's a nice little edit there. So now I gotta figure out what to do with the text because I'm pretty close to how I want it. Let's call this over. This is my kind of like main subject. Um, maybe what the best thing to do would be taking the text and kind of accentuating that. Not sure that I really know how I want to pop it, so maybe I can edit. And just kind of move it back into frame. Almost like the stripes, but we're going to do it low opacity, maybe motion blur it zero degrees. That's kind of cool. Maybe let's do a different setting. Screen, color dodge, normal. Color burn, there we go. Mm, it's a little tacky. Not a big fan. I like it just kind of as is. So, there's one more thing I gotta do. I'm gonna hide my text. And I'm gonna do this very intentionally. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a, make a new layer, do apply image, just as is, convert to a smart object, and now we're going to do some camera raw fun. So finally, the camera raw. So now that we have that layer, we're gonna go to filter, camera raw filter. So for those of you who are familiar with Lightroom, this should feel very similar, but since I'm working in Photoshop, I don't necessarily wanna go back and forth. Um, we're not gonna do a lot here. Mostly just want to accentuate the sharpness a little bit in certain places. So let's bring down highlights a little, bring up shadows a little bit. Oops, that's not shadows. That's shadows. Bring up whites, bring down blacks. And you can do texture or you can do clarity. I know a lot of you will go heavy clarity, so I'm gonna do a little clarity. Maybe do 30, bring my texture up to 20. You're really starting to get some, you can also mess with your dehaze because it kind of a light look, but I'm gonna do just slightly over. Bump the saturation down a little bit, bump the fragments up. I'm just kind of messing with it to taste. More contrast, basic. So now we want to do detail. I want to get the sharpening too much, just a little bit. Um, color mixer, now here's where we can go in and get rid of other stuff. So like, I don't need any green, any blue, any purple, any magenta. Oh, that's saturation, <laughs> I knew that kind of mess with some. See see how that orange is kind of different? 
slide the orange to be more similar. Make it a little more gold, more red. Saturation, greens, gone, blue, or aqua's gone, blue, gone, purple, gone. You're gone, you're gone. Uh, if you don't see anything, yeah, I don't see any red, so we'll mess with that. Up the gold, or yellow, up, down the orange a little bit. Luminance, bump up the orange, bump up the yellow. We good. And I'm really liking that. So just to show, as is with no filtering, this is just how I cut it together. Boom, throw the text on top. And since this is, we've messed with the color some, now I'm going to ink drop for a more accurate color that fits this final edit before I call it a day. Might actually make this a little bit darker. Maybe bump it down to, nah, I like it like that. And boom, we are done. So just to show a quick recap of each layer too. So we have our background, you know what everything is. There's the stripe, there's AK in the back, there's all the fades. Over this has him plus some pop in it. The smart object version of the camera raw then adding the text boom now you could put your signature somewhere you could put that but honestly it's like whatever but this is how i kind of do a more like off the cuff sports edit in reality honestly I, everything i do unless i find a very specific inspiration is very off the cuff so i'd like to thank you guys so much for checking out this kind of windy off the cuff sports edit tutorial in photoshop because that's just how my creativity flows when i'm doing photoshop projects unless i have a very very specific project in mind or outcome it's always kind of like a all right well what looks best what am i picturing in my head you know when i went into this i was thinking about maybe i'll do his black jersey and i'll do some like dark edit stuff but then i was like man those white color rushes look great so i popped together those images and created something completely different from what I was picturing originally. So but that's the fun in it. And I want you guys to kind of not only see just a tutorial of like, all right, click this, enter this value, do this. Anyone can do that. But I want you to kind of see how, how it happens when you're doing a more creative process. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit me with a subscribe, hit a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see any more tutorials like this, what you thought. And if you have any similar edits, please send them to me. I'd love to check them out and shout you guys out. So thank you so much once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.